Welcome to Heavy Rescue. We've just received a call for a rollover on the interstate. The sheriff has reported no injuries and has completely closed the interstate. HR 75 and HR 20 have already responded. We'll be heading out of the shop in HR 250. This is our 75 ton twin steer western star rotator. The crash details include a bucket truck rolled over and a flatbed truck involved. I have requested a little boy for transportation if needed. Since this is a big rollover, we'll be heading out in our biggest uh, tow truck we have. I'm excited to be back here with a heavy rescue series doing uh, some recovery work. If you guys would like to see more, drop a like and subscribe to the channel. Luckily nobody was injured in today's crash. The reports are that the bucket truck was getting on the highway from the on-ramp and a flatbed truck collided causing uh, the bucket truck to lose control, roll over and I believe that the flatbed truck is in the guardrail from what we've been told. This Western Star Rotator looks pretty sweet with the American flag on the back. It is our biggest, biggest uh, tow truck we have. It is a bit pricey, upwards of $1 million fully specced out. And we probably use it once or twice a month here. It's not our main truck. We do have a 50 ton rotator as well. And I could already see the crash uh, scene here in the distance. It looks like Sheriff has completely closed down both lanes and traffic is starting to back up. It actually looks like he did put out a sign there. It is pretty cool accident ahead. That's an awesome little touch there. It looks like the little boy's already here. HR 120 is blocking the on ramp. We got another Sheriff and then our HR. Uh, 75 is here as well, but let's look at this. Whoa, our first sight at it, we have a full bucket truck. This is a pretty big bucket truck that is rolled over, and it looks like the boom on the back is completely broken. We can actually see that the axles are gone on it. Look at that axle, completely broken, and that one is uh, completely broken. So this is definitely not moving, and we'll have to put it up on the low boy. Good thing I did request it. You guys can see the dump body actually separated a bit there from the frame. This is a pretty big bad uh, crash and you guys can actually see it's just all twisted out of shape and then uh, this truck here looks to be in pretty good condition looks like a little bit of damage to the front bumper uh, deflated tire but wow uh, I think we'll probably recover this one first I don't want to bring a truck in between here until uh, we get this one secured and out of the way so let's hop in HR 75 and see if we could winch it off and then we'll just use the on ramp as our off ramp to get up off the highway with this wreck here Now the Heavy Rescue series is very popular lately on the channel, which is awesome. I really do enjoy this series and can't wait to continue it with uh, more and more crashes. And I can't wait for snow uh, in the winter season to come. Quite a lot of accidents do happen with snowfalls and different things like that. But we'll get the tow bar down and then we will get uh, the winches going and see if we could winch it off first. I don't just want to pull it using the tow bar. We might uh, damage that. It's not really meant for kind of just to pull things like that. But let's kind of get this probably right about here. And let's kind of just winch it off. Put the winch brake on, everything ready to go, and let's get going. Now the goal with the Heavy Rescue Series is to get the road open as soon as we can. Closure is not an option. Yep, look at that, right up and off the guardrail. We'll pull just a little bit more, and I think that looks to be good. We'll disconnect that, release the tension, and take it off. I am about being efficient here on the roadway, but we do also have to be safe uh, when working on highways, especially with uh, tow trucks and being on the side of the road. But let's get the tow bar in position, and we, we should be able to get this off to the side pretty quickly. Now this tow bar actually works by uh, using straps, so if you have something on like the flatbed like this, it will actually strap to the pallet, which will let us tow, which is pretty sweet, and a little bit further back that looks to be good there and let's drag it to the side of the road so that's pretty sweet that this uh, works like that now if we do need HR 75 we'll definitely use it but for now 
uh, its main job is to get uh, this uh, flatbed back over to the shop. But let's kind of see what we will be doing. I think we'll probably set the rotator all the way here in the left lane and get secured. And once we get chains on and everything, we'll try to push this back into place. Maybe, re maybe release those hydraulic hoses to let... Now, rotators are very expensive to run, and we do get paid quite a lot of money, and that's kind of why we don't use them every single day. We use these smaller trucks. These are very expensive to own, to operate, and we do get top dollar here uh, when we do use them. But let's get this here in position and get ready to go. Now, because of all the damage on this uh, bucket truck, we will actually have to put it up on the low boy. So, good call by having them come already. But it's going to be tricky to get it up onto the low boy, I will have to say. But it's going to be a new challenge for us, something we've not yet had to do on a recovery. Let's get it chained up here. Let's see. Sometimes it is tricky to get the chain. And there we go. So, we got it chained up. Let's see if we get it hydraulically uh, get this uh, bucket back in place. And look at that. So we were able to get it back into place, which is good. We definitely do not want that out as we are rolling over, but everything is pretty much totaled on this. I don't think really much is able, but let's kind of see. Can we roll it over? Nope. We got to get the uh, winch turned on really quickly. And there we go. So we got it rolled over there. Let's take a full walk around on it. Axle's completely gone. Look at that. Uh, and you guys can see this cage is actually broken as well as the uh, dump and the frame is also bent. So, so many different things. And yeah, we are not able to tell this. So let's kind of see what we need to do. We need to lift it up and move it to this lane here. So let's uh, kind of detach the tension and we'll have to kind of get it fixed. We need the low boy to somehow get in here. So that's kind of see if we can center it and bring it over a bit I think that should be good once we do get it up in the air we should be able to kind of muscle it just a little bit let's kind of see what we can do here Awesome, so we got it moved over here. We should be able to get the little boy in the semi truck through. Let's see if that will be possible. This is pretty sweet to do here in FS19. I actually have been doing heavy rescue videos all the way back uh, since FS15. So it's nice to be here in the game. So many upgrades have been coming as the games uh, get better and better and the mods improve over the time but this is a pretty wide low boy which will come in handy uh, for today but let's kind of see oh yeah we'll be able to squeeze right through and those stabilizers almost had a near a collision there but we'll pull forward just a little bit and we should be able to get this on no problem now for this I actually just want to kind of do it uh, without using the winch we'll just actually we have to add tension to it again and it might be a little tricky to do this but we'll see how we can do it If you do have any cool ideas for me, drop it down below. I really do enjoy using your feedback here to improve these videos and give me some great ideas. And this thing, a little unrealistic now, but you guys can see completely lifting this truck here into place. It's kind of bringing it a little bit more. And we'll get to uh, drop it down soon. So you guys can see very close and almost, almost in position here. So let's kind of see if we just get out there and kind of muscle the rotation of it into position. This is somewhat tricky to do, but it is uh, suspended up there. So it's not really just quite a lot of pushing we are doing. And right about there, let's detach the winch line. And look at that. So we pretty much got it loaded up here. Not the best loading. And let's kind of see if we could push it just a little bit more with the winch. We now have it positioned on the low boy. The last thing we have to do is detach these winch lines and get the rotator folded back up. Now this is a bit tricky to do. Let's kind of see if we could do it on the first try. Climbing in here, trying to uh, take the chain off is always a tricky thing.
Awesome, so we got the uh, winch line taken off there. Let's get the rotator folded up. But this was definitely one of our biggest uh, wrecks of the uh, season, which is pretty awesome. But at the same time, we always hope that we don't get big calls like this. We'll get everything to the side of the road and have all the lanes open except the uh, shoulder. And then I think that will be good. We'll definitely have the off-ramp closed for just a little bit longer. And I think we'll uh, tow the other one back to the shop. That will be a pretty cool thing to do. Sometimes on big crashes like these, low boys, big flatbed trailers all called in uh, to kind of help out with the removal of these vehicles. But that is pretty bad. I think we'll, the police officer will probably follow this truck back over to our shop to do some paperwork, get some information from it as well. And I think we'll uh, kind of get the road open here and then we'll head back. We'll leave the uh, police lights on and I also wanted here to kind of help with the shoulder and then the other one will kind of follow the other one back but that's pretty cool that we did get a sign here there is a new signage mod and I do want to try to use more and more mods to improve the realism and I will also be uh, buying vehicles to kind of just put on the side of the road to kind of show traffic build up I think that would be a pretty sweet thing but we'll put this in the back and this really doesn't want to be picked up let's kind of yeah does not really want to be picked up so let's kind of see we'll just push it to the side of the road and we'll hop in the truck Today was a pretty busy day. Right as we got to the shop, we had a call, which is nice. And it's always uh, great to kind of uh, get these calls for the revenue of the company. But let's hop here in HR 75 and head back to the shop. That is pretty sweet that we are towing this truck. It works pretty well as well. And we'll have to sneak by our HR 120. I really do like that. That's a great support vehicle here for us. But hope you guys enjoyed today's heavy rescue video back on the Pinewoods Farm map. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next one and subscribe for more.